Hello and welcome, I'm JD and we are back with another learning review, uh, this time with my second ever uh, multiplayer game uh, on bar. Now this is again on coastlines, it just happened to be that way, I played on different days, just picked random games to get into. Um, last time we were on this side, now we're over on this side. So um, again, I want to be building frontline bots and taking on the points that I learned in the last learning review. So here you can see I've built the three mexes straight away, one of my failing points last time, and I was able to do so in a way that the commander at this moment is able to rotate but hasn't been able to move. Um, so it's just focusing on building instead of walking. So um, I already feel like I'm off to a better start here, and we have the same amount of win, 3 to 14. So instead of going... Um, into wind straight away and going into two solars to give me a bit of a stronger foundation. We have orange paired down uh, down with a Kakarot um, playing Cortex. We've also got, I think, um, a few people up here. I didn't really pay a lot of attention up the top um, during this game. Uh, they do sort of push across, but um, I, I, I just, I was very focused on doing my thing. Uh, we will come to the other players, but I'm just, at the moment I'll hide them all uh, just for a little bit. So straight away, um, we've all got the metal producing with eight metal, uh, with balancing or have a fairly even uh, bit of uh, power, and we are building. Let me get this back to full speed now that we've caught up. Uh, we are building our first uh, bot lab or our bot lab. Now things that you'll uh, notice. Um, is that I'm going to get a bit more power. It's probably, as much as I was saying I was learning, uh, I probably should have just gone more solar collectors because the power has, uh, or the wind has dropped from uh, 14 uh, down to 3. I build one and decide, hey, it's, I can actually switch back to providing that support there. I get a resbot straight out, and I'm going to send them over to start reclaiming. We'll get a bit more energy there. Off he goes. You can see that there's a fair amount of energy there. Uh, it's about 2,000 energy. And we get a few more of the uh, wind turbines up. Sort of stabilizing this. Not too great, but we are trying to stabilize it. Uh, metal's also being stabilized. First constructor's out. Second one's coming. And then we're going to go into ticks. And we're going to run those ticks across the map uh, and try to scout for the enemy. Uh, we do uh, build uh, one of them. I did have a la light laser turret queued up here. However, I do then start to walk away. And then I remember what happened last time. So um, you can see that there is you can build from a bit of a distance. And instead of having to walk back around, uh, I do build that light laser turret. That is going to now be able to cover uh, all of these uh, resources here. Uh, although anything that sort of stands off far enough will be able to uh, take, this, take these out. But I am confident that I'll be able to defend here. Got the first wave of ticks uh, coming out across the map. Now, last time we spoke about lanes, and for me this time, I really wanted to focus on this being my lane. I'm going to leave this drawn on the map, and we're going to see if um, I'm actually able to do that. I will re eventually remove that um, in time. So we've got 10 ticks out on the map. I've got sort of two waves of five. What's this? Four up there. There's five there. I think there's one more coming, or maybe I cancel that. And then I'm building pawns. Now, I generally have uh, the ticks and the pawns are starting in the same sort of control group. I do eventually move these into their own control group. And um, at this point, we've seen nothing forward. Uh, we have uh, positioned our, our commander forward. We've got a turret, we've got a radar. So uh, providing a bit of vision, and then we will we'll move forward into this area here. Uh, yellow is very far forward. It's going to be able to start to build, and, and that's not a bad thing. It's going to be able to start to build uh, that um, defense in the middle unlike me last time uh, where you know it, it took forever he's going to start and then build backwards and the enemy's commander here i don't think they see us but i actually managed to get all my ticks uh, because i can navigate this train up and over and just sit them right there now if i pause the map and i turn uh, the player view on that's going to allow this base here is undefended so we as we was talking about last time um is that you build something to defend this. Now, there's nothing here. The um, Astro Militarum commander, he's forward. He's got his Mexus there um, with his commander, but he's, there's nothing here. So if we now I put this back over, select myself, select myself, 
and uh, let's just turn it back on turn into play now i'm going to send these ticks forward whilst i'm bringing these pawns up and i start destroying his economy probably shouldn't get all of my poor um ticks too close because these do explode do cause a bit of damage uh, but i am actually able to take out all these mexes uh, some of his power and for that i'm pretty happy uh it's gonna cause his uh, builders to come back and he does lose like a little bit of power from that he's actually fine with uh, the metal but now that i know that i can get in there i'm going to try it again because i've now got pawns and pawns are going to be a lot uh, a bit slower but they are going to be a lot stronger in uh, destroying this we do have our radar up so radar up so anything that comes through here here or from this frontal area we will be able to uh, see and we do have laser turrets up the front find this mex uh, mexus and i will destroy that all right and we are going to build another radar up here for early warning before i come back defend this location and build forward now one of the pieces of advice last time was to have longer build queues this is probably still not considered long you probably you know build up through here um but you know i am learning and i do want to be able to um, make adjustments on the fly we got four bots up here and a two coming around. We are going to attack from multiple areas here. This wasn't really intentional. I think I was just uh, telling all these guys to move in one area. And then uh, this happened to work out. See the commander. So I decided to move away. Taking out uh, one of his uh, light tanks. All his power. Another Mexus. Another power. And thinking that there's still tanks around here. I'm actually going to abandon that area. And start to push in through green. So um, I get another Mexus. Take out a constructor. Try to start uh, shooting the advanced soul collector, but it has like a thousand health, and I can't be um, asked, you know, fighting that. It's not worth my time. I, I need to actually take out these other things. And with two pawns, I'm actually able to do a fair amount of damage. You see a light may spot come out, so I'm going to start to micro away. We'll be able to get that. No, I don't. So, um, but when it does explode, we do take out a few more things. So at this point, those four six pawns have done a fair amount of damage, and I've got another four uh, ready to go, and I've even brought some ticks out because um i figured that i'd be able to use them either for scouting or just to ask to serve as a distraction we talk, we spoke about longer build queues if i've been focusing over here for the amount of time that i've, sh I've been talking since this last happened then my commander hasn't been built he could have built this already and uh, build all this up you know i should be giving the orders here i should be giving the orders here i should be giving the orders there uh so at the beginning my my lane was sort of here and at this point i actually feel like i'm well whilst i'm attacking down here i think that's just because it's of a target of opportunity i'm actually in my lane doing i think what i should be doing even giving a bit of advice there on how to ping because i had to watch a lot of videos on how to actually do that i wasn't really sure um there's a lot of keyboard commands here a little bit slow on the uptake but another learning point from the last game was building rocketeers now should have built these earlier but the fact that i've got to the midway mark which is there um haven't encountered any resistance but have decided to start building uh, the rocketeers i'm going to call that an improvement next time i'm going to start to build them a little bit earlier but because i think i was advancing into here i thought hey i i think that's part of the reason i delayed got some ticks start destroying some of these metal um try to focus the enemy in two locations so we'll try and pull these tanks away um with the ticks up here we'll go up and over again trying to go back into green uh, whilst i then do bring the pawns down here they do get caught uh, by astra militarum they do start to be reclaimed and destroyed uh, from there but again we get the ticks in here taking out um, the enemy's econ taking down their power um, i really need to be able to split them up so that they all don't die but by doing so we've actually enabled um, and taken out a fair amount of defenses for these brute tanks to start coming in and an air raid uh, from our friends uh, with the Stormbringers from up in the top corner. So we've already effectively sort of cut the, the, the head, the tail, but we've been able to really start destroying this uh, with no anti-air down here either. Um, it's a free, free bombing run for Brown. I can't even see if there's any other air units uh, moving around to come support this. So it, it is all free. Green does start to respond. Um, but by the time he gets down here, a lot of this is going to be destroyed. And even then, the bombers have free reign. 
finish building in the center i'm going to keep building forward uh we're going to build a radar up the top plus uh two light laser turrets uh so again another learning point from the last game was um building the radars in areas where they can be seen probably should have built uh, up the top here or up here uh, maybe there there like these are all good locations but we've done it you know here here and here so you know it's a 50 percent thing at the moment 50 percent uh win rate lionheart um so astromel tar i'm taking out um i'm gonna sort of give myself a bit of props on that but i i do need to thank kakarot for obviously helping and pushing that and the same deal with uh sneed he i think these guys really finished him off sneed's just building a lot of uh, air out the back we've got um phil cosby out here also building bots i think he's building eco um and whilst all that's going on i'm back here stalling on oh no i'm not stalling on metal metal's going okay energy's actually also going okay um probably should be able to build some energy collectors or something like that um just to increase these limits but um am i okay uh getting more lazaruses out because there's a lot of um recon or uh, metal up the front and i want that and we're building uh, more pawns we're also building a few defenses uh in terms of heavy turrets probably we don't need it because we're not being pushed and we're nowhere near being pushed um probably could have built some air as well but again we're not being pushed uh, although defenses can never go wasted and a bit of a sneaky peek to to hide us if anyone was to sense us uh, one of the points i was also told in the last game was um to bring a bot lab forward and you can see the amount of time it takes to go from the back line all the way to the front line and i've made use of the repeat command which i was also speaking about in the last learning review and i'm just simply producing uh, pawns i just want them out here to be able to um front line up here i should what what I should be doing is also having one round of uh, pawns and one round of rocketeers. Build one pawn, build a rocket, build a pawn, build a rocket. And by alternating like that, I would actually save myself a lot of time of trying to get rocketeers walking all the way from the back up the front. And that would, um, again, like I was talking about last time, um, have the pawns provide the vision, uh, particularly for uh, the tanks and the medium assault tank. Uh, so I can support Kakarot in his push but also um, my own Rocketeers. So the army does suffer a little bit, but we are reclaiming a huge amount of metal. We actually are in a positive of metal here, so we'll probably be uh, spending some of this. And our energy is about so-so. Uh, Green wasn't doing too much or focusing down too much here, so I do clean up this again as he rebuilds, but he does start to build uh, defenses. Now, um, in the last game, or the last learning review, if you haven't seen it, maybe uh, it is a bit long, about 50 minutes, but... I do have a look at it. I think it is worthwhile, at least maybe the first 30 minutes, the first, first 20 minutes. It's, I built um, plasma artillery as a bit of a defensive weapon. He's building the plasma artillery uh, as an, the offensive weapon, as, a, as I was sort of given that feedback, to be able to provide um, harassment fire onto these buildings. So if I, if you see, all of my buildings are within range. So he, if he gets vision onto this bot lab, if he knows that it's there, um, which he which he doesn't at this point. He doesn't know anything's there because he doesn't have a radar. Just check. Oh, he does have a radar. Why isn't it radaring? Can't see it for whatever reason. Um, if he saw that, that would be able to, to be doing damage. He'd be able to take out my radar. He'd be able to take out these things. Uh, and I can actually see... I can actually see, because I've positioned the radar on the top of the hill, that we have something there. So Kakarot's going to make a move with these tanks. I'm also going to come in uh, as well, because uh, we can get a bit of a pincer movement here. But he's going to come in from this direction. I'm going to come in... Whoop. I'm going to come in from this direction, uh, and we're going to pincer uh, these defenses here. Got the vision... Uh, we do take out the agitators of the plasma. We do then have the rockets come up. We are able to start destroying that. Kakarot's able to push forward, continuing to take out constructors uh, and deal with some more of these defenses. Uh, lots of pawns being spawned out from the back line and from the front line. But, you know, if I was going to do pawns at the back because they're fast, then I could have done rocketeers at the front 
uh, because they're slow and then they would have got there at the same time. Ideally, I should have also been building more res bots. Uh, I do have quite a few, but I don't realize that this is here. I accidentally walked them all through. I thought I had a lot more. Um, and instead of destroying the agitator or reclaiming it, I'm actually going to uh, store it. My thinking here was um, it was close enough to, to be able to provide that harassment fire or harassing fire onto uh, to green here. So it was worth it. Um, where's my commander? Here he is. Uh, does have a bit of a longer build queue. I did send him off to go build uh, over here. So we built some fortifications, I built some laser turrets, another radar because um, I wanted to be able to see, blocked by the elevation, but do have that good central uh, ramp view uh, and a bit of anti-defense. Running out of power, so I decided to build some solar power up the front because that's going down. And then um, one of the things that I should have done is actually, I think at this point, I should have been more than confident to be able to not only start reclaiming the metal, but building on these points. Uh, I'll let Kakarot basically just push through here and take all these metal extractors. Uh, I could have taken that um, and they could have been mine. Um, is it a big deal? No, but I think it's something to um, think about later on uh, just so that, you know, uh, I, I get some of that stuff for my push, uh, my development as well. Kakarot, however making good use of that metal, building more tanks, taking out the Econ of Green. You can see Lionheart, um, another commander goes down, so only two left. We haven't lost any commanders yet, uh, but we we are streaming through. We get uh, rocket bots. Uh, do we have any air? I don't know where what necessarily the air's doing, if they're building it. Uh, I, if you're watching, if you're a player watching this and taking, like, don't take criticism from me because I have no idea what you're thinking. And I have no idea um, how this game fully works. So, you know, um, Phil, I, consider, I think he's just going to be spamming maybe tier one units out. Um, Yellow certainly is. But we are sort of at that point in the game where it's sort of one. I've got all my pawns now just rushing in the back lines. Uh, okay, I thought that was a power unit. So I actually split some of these robots off thinking that's going to explode it was just energy storage yeah I still it still doesn't work for me because uh whatever then i was shooting over here dies so okay uh we do get the plasma artillery instead of um just reclaiming everything i actually do start to restore some of these medium tanks make them mine i uh, i do have more and more res bots coming forward you can see a number of them in this long long uh, string um coming forward to support but it I was building rocketeers out the back. This one should just be building pawns or are going to tier two. Uh, and this one here should be building rockets and other stuff. Always needing more energy. Uh, sort of divert away from my solar collector theory that I was, you know, I keep saying, oh, I'm doing this because of this reason. Should have just built solar collectors is most of this game. Um, but that's okay. We do end up getting two of those. We got a jammer. We got a couple more of these uh, things out. And that. Uh, ends ends the game. It does become all this weird flashing. Don't understand it. Um, but yeah, that becomes the game. I think they they all surrender, and um, yeah, we we take the win on this one. So it was just a very very short game. It was 17 minutes in length. Um, yeah, I was I was pretty happy with that. I thought I did a really good um, opening push, and then you know I think I really touched on some of those learning points. Uh, from the the initial um, game that I played, so uh, I'm gonna call this one a win um, in terms of development, and uh, hopefully I can continue to take a few more of these learning points forward because I think I am getting a, a little bit better. Uh, I don't know if you if people are interested in seeing the stats, I'll just throw them up quickly on the screen. You can uh, see if it's if it's anything you like. Where am I? I'm again sort of sort of mid pack there. That's it. Thanks for watching and take care.